Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to change your needle bar bushings as well as your needle bar. Um, needle bar bushings are actually what hold the needle bar in place and they look small cylinder just like this. There are two in your machine, one at the top, one at the bottom that holds your needle bar in place. The first thing you want to do is to take off your face plate so you have access. And there are three screws. There are two on top and then one on the side. Remove your screws. Usually they're a Phillips head. Okay, now, before I take off my faceplate, um, I make sure that this wire is removed from the clamps that hold it, so that that way you're not going to pull any wires loose, loose from your faceplate. And the next thing is, I want to make sure that I have my machine locked, carriage and head, so it doesn't move forward or backwards. If you don't have the holder for the top that the faceplate will rest upon, then what you want to do is make sure that um, you've removed from the clamps your side uh, wire and wire protector and then you're going to sit it gently on the table so that you're not going to accidentally knock it off of something and pull your wires out. We don't have to worry about that. We have the clamp set up. Set that right on top. Okay, so we have our needle bar right here. The first thing I'm going to want to do is to take out my foam or sponge um, oil collector for the excess oil. And then the next thing I'm going to want to do is to slide down by the foot and I'm going to remove my needle plate as well as my hook assembly. And I like to use a short stubby Phillips screwdriver to get those out. That way I'm not having to turn and twist this and stripping the head of my Phillips screws. Okay, so now we're down to the hook assembly and the finger. We want to pull the finger out of the way. Whenever you change your needle bar or bushings, this will require that you retime your machine. So we're going to strip it down to bare. Okay. Loosen that, slide that out of the way. And sometimes you have to really loosen that screw so that you can flip that around. So we've got that out of the way. I'm just going to Retighten it just a little bit with it to the side so that it's not in my way. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is remove the hook assembly. And we use a straight screwdriver with a very narrow tip. Back here, behind your hook assembly, you have the three screws. When you take your needle down and then you head back up, and that hook is directly behind the needle, you're going to see that first screw. That's going to be the one you do last. Rotate your hand wheel forward until you get to the second screw. Loosen that one. Get to the third. Loosen that one. And again, you get to the third by rotating the hand wheel forward. And then rotate again. Loosen that one. All right, what I did is I went to Lowe's and I got a 3 16th shaft, uh, stainless steel, and I had a friend cut it down, so I have approximately about eight or nine inch shaft here, and you're gonna need that to pound out your bearings. The other thing that you're gonna wanna have is a tube of the red Loctite. Okay, so to remove the needle bar, the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the needle. 
because we have our set screw that holds the needle in place. And you also have the set screw that would be holding the thread guide in place. So you would remove those two screws that are on the side of the needle bar completely. The next step is removing the needle bar proper, which is loosening this screw up here in the face plate. And I remove the needle bar by pulling it straight down through. And since we don't have our bobbin assembly in place. Okay, I'm going to use my um, 3 16 steel two. I'm going to use a hammer very gently, gently, gently. I'm going to go up in, stick that right into my shaft, and I'm going to catch the bearing, which is this guy right here at the top. There's two. There's one at the top. There's one at the bottom. I'm going to catch the bottom edge, which is right here with that little shaft. You do not want to use a screwdriver or a Phillips. It's going to put grooves into the cast aluminum on the inside. I'm going to very gently pound up. And if you want to get in on that fairly tight, Rich, what they can see is how that's coming up and out. Once I pull that out, Okay, what I want to do before I remove this bottom one is I want to make sure on the side of your machine here that I have loosened the two Allen wrench screws. So you're going to find the right size because that's actually holding that bottom bearing in place or attempting to. You'll have some Loctite in there. Okay, loosen that, loosen the bottom, I'm not removing the screws, I'm just loosening them. Now, you saw as I pounded that out, it came right out the bottom. 